hot. I would have stayed up longer, but I've got a wire singing really loud. And it was kind of interesting when I was looking out, this one was loose, although it feels tight right now compared to this one. This one was, I mean, this, this one might be a little looser, but anyway, I need to tighten that up. I need to look at all the wires because it was singing really bad. So I just did my first flight in the Sopwith Snipe. Interesting, uh, engine's a little bit different than what I'm used to. Uh, uh, it's got a similar throttle uh, throttling system with a, a, a fuel valve and an air valve like the Larones, which I've flown. But this Bentley seems to be a lot more sensitive. Uh, it's an original engine. It's a reproduction airplane built down in uh, New Zealand by the uh, Vintage Aviator Limited. Guys did a phenomenal job with the uh, uh, construction and stuff. I taxied around a little bit, kind of got used to that. Uh, got used to, you know, the accelerating of the two valves for takeoff and stuff. It's really sensitive 
uh, on the mixture and it's easy to either get it a little too rich or a little bit too lean and and the timing of when you get them there is also kind of critical so I'm still playing around with that a little bit uh, it's kind of disconcerting when you're trying to take off and the engines banging and and backfiring and stuff you know because the mixture is not quite right but anyway I'm getting used to it uh, as far as flying I've uh, had a couple issues the uh, the airspeed doesn't work at all um, and the pulsator we uh, bled it yesterday but for some reason it's still not working I've actually never had one that ever did work in an airplane that I flew so uh, it's got lots of oil and uh, we know it's working because it's all over the belly of the airplane which is normal so takeoff went fine I was actually airborne quicker than I expected I really wasn't using all the throttle when I was climbing out my concern was more about you know just making sure I had the mixture right so I was playing around with that the uh, ailerons seemed to be fairly heavy uh, pitch is uh, firm and there's almost uh, it's pretty inefficient in yaw the rudder works but the airplane tends to uh, not be very stable in yaw so you're always kind of playing around with the rudder um, I didn't really get a chance to fly it as much as I would have liked to I could tell there was a flying wire that was really singing. I don't like to let that happen for very long because usually within about 10 hours you have a, a wire break and you know now we're dealing with an airplane on the ground because we can't fly it because we need a new streamlined flying wire. So I'm going to tweak uh, the flying wires today. We're going to tie a couple of them down in the cabanes. I actually, when I was flying, I reached out and grabbed every one that I could to see if that was the wire and it wasn't. So uh, we'll just have to go through and you know you, you just you got to get them absolutely lined up. Sometimes they even need to be a little bit cocked to, uh, uh, to make them so they don't sing. So anyway we'll uh, get her all cleaned up and uh, maybe make a crack at it again tomorrow. Pretty cool.
Okay, so we got another great flight in on the Sopwith Snipe. And yesterday was my first flight. I had a wire really buzzing, and uh, I don't like to fly when they're like that because after a while they're just going to break. So uh, we tweaked it yesterday. I did a quick flight this morning right after takeoff. The, the wire was still singing. So I landed immediately, came back. We threw some javelins on there, solved the problem. Uh, we'll fly for quite some time with that. If we can find some historical precedent that they used them in World War I, we'll just leave them on there, make some nice ones. Um, getting a little bit better uh, acquainted with the, the throttling system with the air and, the, and the, uh, the fuel mixture. It's kind of disconcerting every once in a while when you realize it's not running because the engine starts telling you so, banging and making all sorts of uh, noises that you don't want to hear and your airspeed starts slowing down as you start looking for places to land. But uh, I'm feeling more comfortable with it. Um, it's going to take me a while to kind of get used to the the yaw and the coordinated turns. It's very sloppy in yaw, kind of like a Fokker triplane. The ailerons are pretty heavy, so when you're co coordinating something that's kind of heavy with something that's pretty sloppy, uh, it's a little bit hard to finesse, but I, I'll get used to it. I think uh, right now I'm making fairly wide turns. I think as I get used to the airplane, I'll probably start pulling around a little bit more, but uh, mainly just trying to be safe, get used to the engine. The fuel transfer system seems to be working well. Uh, the pulsator is not working at all, but obviously there's castor oil all over the airplane. I can smell burnt castor oil, so that's my indication that the engine is oiling properly. Uh, we got the airspeed uh, working. It seems I didn't look at it that much because I was more concerned about what was going on. Uh, but it appears like it's about 95 miles an hour if the airspeed's uh, working properly. Um, trying to think what else. I did three takeoffs and landings, uh, slowly getting used to how it lands seems to come in like a butterfly really really slow I could probably approach a little slower as I get used to the airplane but I got a plenty of uh, long enough of a runway to you know play it on the safe side for now so I'm only really using the blip switch to come in on landing uh, I always want a little bit of power immediately if for some reason the airplane swings off uh, to one side or the other I want to know that there's a reasonable amount of power I'd like to adjust the blip switch a little better. It seems sometimes, even though I've got the button pushed, it kind of runs, so I really got to push it hard. I'd rather that not be the case. I'd rather know that it's going to go off if I don't need it. So, anyway, uh, uh, I certainly enjoyed uh, doing the uh, Kermy cam for everybody, and now I get to go back and look and see what the video looked like from the outside, while you get to go see what the video looks like from the inside. Kermy cam over and out, Southwest Night.